Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just not giving up. Just keep pushing forward, heading towards that light that you really need to get towards. And, you know, just getting there and passing with flying colors. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback, the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and sent you toward the positive direction. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing me some love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to uh, Spiritual Detoxification and Aura Cleansing Meditation, 741 Hertz, Cell Purification, and Binary Peace. And I'm going to post that link in the description box below. I've been getting finding some really good meditations, y'all. And they've been really good. They work really good on me. It's just like, but I don't know. It, with my awakening, it's just like certain beats I will hear. And it can get irritating to me because I will hear that just that one beat. Like there's could be a little pinging. And I will hear that one little pinging through the whole thing. But anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Empaths freeing yourself from the old you. Bring yourself from the old you. It's like when we when we go through um, it's like a met when we go through our spiritual um awakening. It can be really shocking. It can be to the point where it can scare the holy heck out of you. And it's just like when, like like I said in the other video, people ask me, Rosalyn, how can I shut this off? Y'all can't. It's something we have to go through. And it's just like, you know, when you're trying to free yourself from your old self, it's like you're getting a, a shock, like a culture shock. Like, wait a minute, you've been in a certain state for so long. And when you're trying to get to that new you, it's like that old you just keeps pulling you back. And it's just like it's a magnetic field. Like, you can feel yourself going forward. You can feel yourself evolving. You can still feel yourself grow. But it only takes that one trigger, that one moment of weakness that can take you back by five steps. So it's just like, it can be frustrating at times, you know, because I know there's times that I do it, you know, where I can feel like, oh my gosh, I'm just getting up there, up there, up there. And then it could be, it, it just takes that one trigger and take a couple of steps back. So it's just like, when you know that it takes time. Know that you have to be patient with yourself. You're not going to get over this stuff. <laughs> you know, it's just like going through a spirit, spiritual awakening itself is enough to put you through some therapy. Especially if you're thinking you already need some therapy. But it's like it just depends on the situation at hand. You know, what puts you in that situation. Because it's just like with mine, you know, it it was very tragic. It, it was very eye-opening. It humbled me a lot. Um, and I mean, I had to be, you know, even though I was hard on myself because it's just the fact is there's a lot of things I'm still not over yet, you know, and I have to tell myself, you have to let that go. And then when you see, you understand, you know, even though the inner part of you is, you know, is content with that, it's just like your soul and your heart <laughs> is not agreeing right now, because it's like, when I, you know, my soul can accept, okay, these things has happened to you, you need to come to terms with it, you know, and I guess it's just the fact of not healing, not meeting family, not knowing what all the reasons and stuff like that, you know, it can become hard for me, so I know it's a day-by-day -day basis, like, you know, Rosalind, you're not going to be able to get over this overnight, and I know you're ready to get over it, but obviously, you know, it, it, it takes some adjustment, so it's just like when you're going through something for so long, and you're, you're knowing that you need to evolve, things need to change, you need to wake up, you know, you're tired of being in that same situation you've been in for so long but just know you will gradually get there that is the main key that you have to do now it's not give up go at that pace that you need to go and you know if you can put in more effort put in more effort 
if you know you need to do more things and you can actually do that you know just first you know what I had to do I had to put like little things that I would push myself to do because you know if you have went through a uh, manic depressive if you're a manic depressive or just a depressive person anxiety or whatever it sometimes it's hard for you to get out of bed there's days it was hard for me to get off the couch it was hard for me to get off the bed there was times where you know my kids wanted to play and I just wasn't in the mood for it you know I've been going through this on and off for years you know so it's just like when I look at the things it's like you know now there's days where I my vibe I have to force my vibe to get up like you know you have a job to do you have a mission that you need to to accomplish this is the new you you know and I know it's sad I know it's things that you don't have the answers for that you really wish you did but you know the more you push out love and light the more answers you're gonna get gradually so I just had to be patient and it's just the more videos that I push out the more people I know I'm helping I know that helps part of me as well so it's just like when you keep going, you have to look look at your past and see how far you have came. Don't, you know, don't be hard on yourself when it's not so easy for you to give up on, you know, things that you know. If it's petty, now don't be petty with yourself and be upset about something that you know you can truly get over. You just, the, that pill called pride you don't want to do. But if it's something that, you know, has really messed you up to a mental state, give yourself that time. Give yourself that grieving time. Give yourself that closure time that you need to not cope, but deal with that. Come to terms with the things that you have came that have put you in that you know in that position. So it's just like I have to tell myself. I look back and I know it could have been a lot worse. I could have been that one on Crime Watch. You know, I could have been that one on the first 48 and the last 48. But I'm not that type of person because I know even though the things that I went through was very, you know, very ugly and very hurtful, I know it had a deeper meaning to what, you know, just acting out on emotions would have really gotten me in a bad place. So I'm glad that, you know, I'm putting my emotion and my passions through my videos, through pushing out positivity. And, you know, that's things you have to do for yourself as well. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, truly loved, highly favored. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'm sending out much love and light and infinite abundance your way, healing vibes and comforting vibes and loving vibes if you truly need them like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites and share as well with your loved ones and friends and i will talk to you on my next video and my post notification shout out let me go ahead and get to my page um Mimi B, what's up, boo? I hope you're having a blessed week, and I will talk to y'all on another day. Be safe, turn up, but be responsible, and stay blessed and prosperous, peace, and be wild.